Hello, it's me again, and uh, here we are with another story I saw. It was on Twitter, and basically my immediate thought was, what are they trying to hide? Is it a slow news day today, or is there some distraction from actually what's going on in the world? Uh, what news is there? They're trying to hide with a ridiculous story about pasties. Have a look. On a high street in Cornwall's capital, an interloper has snuck in and set up shop. Greg's opens today, offering a tantalising selection of baked goods from sausage rolls to, well, pasties. And that's the problem. The locals have described the opening of Greg's in quite colourful terms. Some people are saying that it's an invasion, that it's an all-out war. It's even been described as the spawn of the devil. But that's not the view I'm hearing here in Truro. It's jumping, mate. Why not? Fair competition. But you're eating proper Cornish pasties. That's because we're visiting from the north. Ah. <laughs> and we get Greg's all the time. So it's a change from the norm for us. But not everyone has been so accommodating. Greg's has tried before to conquer Cornwall. Each time the locals have objected, boycotted, forcing one branch to close down. Well, Greg's are downplaying the opening. There is already a Greg's location in Launceston and at Cornwall Services, they say. But now, residents of Truro will also be able to enjoy tasty bakes and sweet treats from Greg's. But when it comes to tasty bakes, there's only one contender on people's minds. Anne Muller has been selling pasties since the 80s. Well, uh, I learned to make a pasty at my mother's knee and uh, my grandparents on both sides made pasties. Uh, it was just, uh, oh, you know, um, well, staple diet of the Cornish, I suppose. You know, you wouldn't go without a pasty for a week. It's a family firm. and son, Fergus, is in charge of pasty promotion. All of our ingredients within the pasty, other than the pepper, is within 10 miles of us. Um, the... Uh, the reasons for this is for the animal welfare. The animal shouldn't travel. The animal, you should know where your meat comes from. It's massively important. Um, and you know, the, and if you, you're getting the rest of the, past, the ingredients for the pasty, it's good for our economy. They say competition is healthy, but many say there's only room for one pasty maker in town. Greg's are up for the challenge and will be keeping a careful eye on footfall before expanding further into the county. But any plans for expansion? could see the pasty wars turning nasty. It's ridiculous. I mean, I can understand the competition aspect of this, but really, it's a free market. And and um, trying to prevent businesses from opening just because they, they, they're competing for a product is ridiculous. And it's also, my immediate first thought was, this is a, a completely waste of time story. A slow news day with the MSM. And, of course, it's on GB News. So what more can you say? I'm afraid to say that this is complete BS. That's it from me. Have a good day.